Welcome back to episode two, where Brian and Annalisa are going to continue to talk about Canyoneering specific gear. We're going to start off with where we left off. We talked about the helmet. So you want to make sure you have a climbing rated helmet to protect your most valuable asset from rock fall or falling backwards, things like that. Also attached to your helmet should be a very loud whistle because it's very loud in a canyon and you need to be able to hear whistles for um, commands and communication. So yeah, attach your uh, whistle with a paracord or curly cord or hair tie or whatever works that you can get it into your mouth quickly. I agree. I repel with my whistle in my mouth so I'm ready to whistle at any point in time and I'm not fumbling around for where it's at. So I'll start off by talking with the, the canyon harness. Canyoneering harnesses have a belay loop that's oriented in uh, this direction where a uh, climbing specific harness, the, the canyoneering or the, uh, the belay loop is, is oriented in this direction. So to solve that problem, we're adding a quick link to the belay loop. So um, to change the, the orientation here, and then you clip your descender on that uh, you've got the, the right orientation for loading your rope and repelling off of a, uh, a climbing specific harness. Um, the difference between also is a uh, is the butt protector. There's no butt protector on the, the climbing harness where the canyoneering specific harness does. Um, I have a uh, singing rock harness. Annalisa's got the, the Edelrid harness. Petzl makes a harness. So whatever works. I know that canyoneering USA also has a just the butt protector for the, the climbing harness. Some people also use uh, caving harnesses too, which they have a, a hard belay loop instead of a soft belay loop. That's right, it uses a, a Petzl carabiner as a, as a belay loop, but um, a specific one that's, I think it's called a D, a D carabiner or something like that. Uh, ask about it in class if you want one of those. Other differences is uh, canyoneering specific harnesses do have um, thicker leg straps on them, so they're a little bit more comfortable for rappelling. If you're doing a lot more rappelling than climbing, where a rock climbing harness has thinner straps and aren't quite as comfortable to rappelling. Gear loops are a little bit different too. I just have two large gear loops versus having a lot of climbing, climbing harnesses will have four gear loops, two on each side. Um, I've got a couple of descenders here to show you. Uh, these are from Canyoning Equipment for You. This is a Ace 8, this is a Devil 8. I think with class, you're going to get um, a critter. Annalisha's got a critter. She'll show the you the critter. The critter's the recommended um, descender for class. Um, Canyoneering USA sells them. Uh, they're very easy to use, um, and a lot of people like them in general. Um, I keep a I keep a carabiner, a non-locking carabiner here on my side uh, gear loop. Um, the descender will flop around quite a bit as you're walking. I clip it over here on the side, kind of keep it out of the way. Perfect. Um, in addition to that, we've got uh, figure eight. Uh, you'll use this for blocks, for creating blocks in class. So this is one of the gear items. It's just a, a normal figure eight. The other thing that we have on our harness is um, ascension gear, um, and I've got a, a VT prusik here, which can be used as a part of ascension gear, where you can have two prusiks. A VT prusik is very versatile; you can use it for many, many things, including rappelling, ascension. You can use it as a personal lanyard. Um, it's very lightweight and cost-effective. I also have. Um, Forgot what this is called. Sling, a double a sling. sling. I've got a sling on here, a Dyneema sling, which can be used for building uh, building anchors. Uh, you can use it as personal pro if you need to, and I use it for like loop for ascension. Uh, we use mechanical um, ascenders, a chest ascender, and I have a basic here on my um, personal pro. Um, they're very expensive, um, but they're efficient and uh, easy to use. I think for class, most people will probably use Prusix. Yeah, um, and that's what I've got on this hat on this harness here. Uh, this is the Prusix, uh, just a waist Prusix and uh, a leg Prusix for ascending. So if you 
you either need to choose between the uh, the Presix or the, the mechanical ascenders for class. Whatever you use, just make sure you know how to use it. Yeah. This doesn't do you any good if it's on your harness dangling there doing nothing if you can't use it. Did we talk about the cow's tails? Nope. Personal pro. So personal protection. Um, I have cow's tails here. Um, I'm not going to go into how to make these, but we can we can do a link to a video on how to how to make the cow's tails. But I like the cow's tails because they stay on your harness. Um, you have two of them. You can clip to you know two different areas at one time. I keep my VT on my second cow's tails to make it adjustable. And then I can also use my, take this off and use my VT if I need it for something else. So that's our cow's tails. And if you, if you don't want to build cow's tails um, and you've gone through BCEP, they use a double, uh, double length sling with some knots tied for adjusting the length. This is equally acceptable. Uh, the double length sling girth hitched onto your harness, either your climbing harness or you would girth hitch it here onto your canyoneering harness. Yeah, that sounds great. So another thing about harnesses and all the gear that's on here is you want to be mindful that everything that's attached to your harness can snag on things, which could be sticks or anything in the water. Since we're going to be in aquatic canyons for the class, it's a drowning hazard. So you want to just make sure um, that you minimize how much stuff is on your harness and then that things are kind of snugged away without loops. Um, I have my longest tether kind of wrapped around my body so there's not a big loop for things to catch on. A lot of people have personal pro that includes daisy chains. Uh, daisy chains, you have an example of a daisy chain over here. Daisy chains can snag on things and can be hard to cut off if this is pulling you underwater. So another piece of equipment that we use is a knife. So that if you do get caught on anything, you might be able to cut yourself free, especially if you're being pulled underwater, which is very yeah. important. I think that this would be hard to cut too. In, uh, <laughs> in <laughs> You've cut through it before though. <laughs> That's <is> true. So, <laughs> and it, how you, hard was it to cut? You uh, <laughs> I'm it, it cuts pretty quickly. Um, you do want your harness or uh, your knife accessible if you need it. Um, I wear this little, I call it my neck purse. I wear it here in my armpit, but I keep my phone in it. Um, keep beta on your phone. You can read about your beta. Stick it quickly back into your into your little pouch here, and then I put my knife on my on my uh, my strap. So the the knife comes off very quickly. Uh, the blunt point, the safety, the safety knife, um, and I keep it lanyarded to my body in case I drop it. I can grab it. Yeah, it's very important that you can reach your knife if your eyes were closed because you might be pummeled with water and unable to see. So it needs to be in a really uh, easily accessible place, hopefully with your dominant hand because I know I would fumble around if I were trying to do it with my left hand. Yeah, yeah. And uh, besides some other locking carabiners on your harness, that's about all the, the cannoneering equipment that I, yeah. that I carry. We have several. Uh, the class recommends that you have four locking carabiners, brown stock, pear-shaped screw lock carabiners are the recommendation, but whatever carabiners you might already have will probably work. So you might be wondering, there's one more piece of gear that we're missing, and that's a backpack, which we're going to cover in the next video. Excellent. So here's a close-up of your gear for class, your harness with your, uh, your personal pro, your, your lanyard with a locking carabiner four other locking carabiners, a couple of pressics, a waist pressic, and a leg pressic, your critter, your descending device, your critter, um, your figure eight to use as a block, and your knife.